What is going on, guys? It's Wava here. Welcome back to some more Bridge Constructor Portal. Now, last time we left off, we're a few levels away from level 40 and beating the Employee of the Day chapter. So, anyways, we're starting level 38 today, and we're going to be doing turret stairs. Yeah, this is one of the ones that sounded pretty fun, honestly. Let's see. So, we have the changer of getting hit by turrets. We need... Ooh, we need to get the pellet into the pellet home. I wonder where that is on this map. The danger of falling into the sewage, and we have the little paddle, I assume, at the end, where it usually is. No word from GLaDOS today. Let's see what this is about. Uh, ooh, okay, so there it is right there. There's the pellet. It's going to be launching out of that. I guess... Turret stairs? What is that really about? I guess we're going to have it bounce off this. Go over here. I guess we can't just angle it to go, like, boom, boom. I guess we have to make it go boom, and then boom, kind of slant it upwards a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Or... Can it go under this? I don't know. I don't know if we can go through lasers or not, but we need to make it come all the way over to here, so... Hmm, and as usual, whenever we have the pellet level, let's start out with the actual pellet. Let's see, how are we going to make it go from there to there, though? Let's see, of course we don't need anything super duper complicated. If we have this, like that, I guess we could... But then again, we might as well get rid of the turret. Like, how are we going to kill a turret? We're going to need to make this come down here, uh, and then somehow make that... I don't know, it's something like that, you know? I don't know how we're going to do this, but let's just launch that. See how that goes in terms of the trajectory. So, completely missed the heckin' turret right there. Kill that turret, though. Okay, it, it goes through lasers without dying, so that is good to know. I don't know if it got destroyed by the... Oh, it got launched out again. Oh, it did get destroyed by the slime down there, the sludge. Okay, so we need to angle this a little bit more, I think, like that, if we want to make it go... Ooh, a little bit more, I guess. I definitely wanted to hit the turret. And the turret is dead! Ooh, it's kind of bouncing back and forth, though. It is kind of jiggly there, too. I guess I can get rid of that. Do that. Hopefully it's going to hit that, and then I don't know how that's going to go. Of course, there's only one way to find out by actually testing it, like so. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's try and angle that a little bit more like that. And let's try and make this a little bit more stable, just so it doesn't bounce as much. There you go. That's going up a little bit more. Ooh, okay. Oh, I think I know what I need to do now. Okay, let's do that. And then we can connect that directly like that and be a little bit more stable. Let's see where that goes. Boom, killed that thing. And, oh, a little bit better progress right there. And we killed, I think, I think we killed two tourists right there. Should probably do something a little bit better up here in terms of, uh, I don't know, make that about parallel-ish. Is that? I don't think that's parallel. I think that is, though. I think that's parallel. Okay, that's good. That, that, that seems good. See if we can connect that. There you go. Just to make sure they're as stable as possible. Just so it doesn't wiggle and stuff. Definitely don't want any wiggle room here. Okay, that, that angles down a little bit too much. So let's make that go about like that-ish. And... Ooh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. It goes straight, like, right there. So it kills that turret. Kills that turret as well. And it goes about right there. How are we going to make that go upwards? I assume maybe something like that. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully it hits that. And if it does, it'll go like boom. And then I assume it'll go like that. And then maybe something like that. And then, of course, over here. I'm like, I do want to kill the turret. You know, just so it doesn't hit the guy. Because the turret is able to shoot all the way down to here. And, of course, that's, like, right at the end. I don't want our guys getting murdered by him. And there's, like, no way anchor points over here, basically, unless we use this, of course, and just kind of build upwards. Let's see how this goes, though. Is this going to make it all the way over to that final turret, though? Let's see. Ooh, kind of bouncing, kind of bouncing a little bit too much there, though. Ooh, don't want it to come out that much, I don't think. Uh, let's test that out. Let's see how stable that is. Ooh, that's not very stable, though. Right off the bat, it's already, like, hanging down a little bit. Don't want that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, let's test that out now. And... Ooh, and then maybe about right here-ish. Let's see. Can I build right there? We want that to go upwards. So kind of like that-ish. Kind of like that. That's what we want. Although that's just kind of hanging there. Uh, I don't really like that. But of course, it's going to be hanging. But of course, it's going to bounce off that and hopefully get into his home and open up the paddle. So let's let's worry about the actual... Okay, so the, the convoy is only six. So that's, that's not that bad. Let's see if we can actually build a bridge all the way across this. Of course, there's like almost no... Heckin... Mm, almost no support other than this one right up here and this one down here. And of course, we're going to need to go up above this little hump right here. We're going to need to go above that. So we're going to need to slant this upwards. And so slightly. Not like that-ish. Keep going. 
video and and we have another support here and i've been using this for a little while now where we kind of make a diamond shape and that seems to be a pretty good strong support so let's try and make that equal ish and i think i need to pull this one out a little bit more or pull it in a little bit more pull it in about like that i should probably do the same thing down here honestly make the little diamond thing i i did see that in the best practices too so it seems like it's a pretty effective little building strategy so there you go that seems like it might be pretty strong and stable let's start building these into road oh whoops start turning those into roads now and start connecting all these together uh we're gonna need to slowly make it all the way over to there it is still slowly slanting upwards though so that's good Ooh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be even but uh that, that might be about as good as it's gonna get right there now of course we can use this as a ooh, oh make that go up a little bit more and we could use that as another support okay let's start using uh, regular classic triangles here that way we can actually start using that as supports for ah, i can't Ah, uh, man. Now we can use it as supports for that paddle deflector thing up there, you know? So there we go. Hopefully it doesn't move too much, too. I don't want it to move too much or else that paddle might not deflect that in the right direction. Anyways, for right now, we're doing pretty well, it seems. Just need to build more triangles all the way to the end. There we go. Slowly get some small little triangles here. <laughs> Trying to make them as parallel as I can to the actual road, because it seems like that is what we want to do as part of the best practices book and stuff. Let's try and put it in the middle the triangle is trying to center that in the middle of the road and i think we're pretty well set here uh, i'd say yeah i think the road's about as parallel as it's gonna get i think we might be fine i think it, okay let's just do a test drive let's just do a test drive right now i think we might be oh what did i just do oh i accidentally turned into a road i think we might be good hopefully the actual uh, roads hold up and hopefully the pellet gets deflected pretty well up there and that thing doesn't move around too much but uh mm, that does move around a lot I want to connect that a little bit more. I don't know if I can. Mm, the whole thing, though, is falling down no matter what I do, so... Let's just, let's just do the test. Let's just make it go all the way, and then... Let's figure out where this is going to land. If it's actually going to deflect off of it. And it, it seems like it's fine! It opens up the thing! Okay, that's good. Let's do a test try with the actual forklift guy. Seems like the bridge and stuff is holding up pretty well as well. These little diamond shape support things seem to be doing their job pretty well. As, and he runs into the paddle there. Seems like our little uh, pellet isn't quite as fast as I want it to be, but uh, of course that's not that big of a deal, especially when we're doing the convoy. Hopefully it doesn't pile up too much over there. Uh, the convoy does come out uh, kind of fast. But we're going to get a small little pile up here next to the paddle, and we're good! It seems like we got it, you guys! Awesome! The whole convoy is going to make it through. I think I think we did a pretty good job over here with the uh, the bridge, honestly. Yeah, look at that. $79,300. Not bad. Uh, I'm not bragging, but I think we're slowly getting better at this game. Not bad. Especially whenever we're, you know, playing like two-thirds of it almost. <laughs> almost two-thirds way through the whole entire game. I better be getting better at it, right? Jeez. Anyways, uh, not anything over here except for the springs and the danger of falling to sewage, so no word from Gladys, unfortunately, but let's see what this is about. Aerial tennis! Ooh, this is the aerial tennis. Ooh, we're going to be jumping, I guess, back and forth. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so we're going to be coming out of here. The convoy is 10. It seems like it's going to be a really fun level. Wow. <laughs> but we're going to be coming out of there, hitting that spring. I assume going up there to the portal. Coming out of this, hitting that spring. I guess going back to that spring. And what would be the benefit of that? Are we just going to be in a circle or what do we... I feel like we might want to do a two-tiered sort of thing. You know, where this one lands on the upper part of the bridge. I assume this one's going to land... Yeah, whenever they first come out here, they're going to be facing to the right. But whenever they go through the portal, they're going to be facing to the left. So I wonder if... M landing on that spring isn't just a distraction, or... Mm, I don't know. Let's, let's just see. Oh, don't do any tests. We have literally nothing to test. Let's start getting some... Uh, I, yeah, I think I might be able to do that uh, diamond shape. I think I might be able to do that in reverse as well, where it hangs. I think I might be able to do that. Although it's probably better if it's uh, used in the other way, where it's an actual support. But uh, eh, it might not be bad if I do it like that. Use it to support actual roads and stuff. But uh, there we go. Yeah, I might want to stretch it out by... Maybe one or two. Yeah, two more seems like it's good. Two, and then move these down by one. There you go, a little diamond shape. That's pretty good. Oh, whoops. Stretched out a little bit too much to the left. And there we go. Slowly connect these. Might might just have a regular ramp there. It might be able to make it through the portal. So there we go. And then there we go. And then I guess we could connect it here in the middle too. So how's that going to go? I could angle that down a little bit too, about like that-ish. So how's that going to go? Let's test that out. Let's just see if he's able to make it over there. He hits the spring lands up there no problem and there we go 
And what happens here? Is he going to hit the spring again, or...? Yep. And this time... Ooh, ooh. Huh. Well, he's kind of stuck there now. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying, like, we might need to do, like, a two-tiered thing, but it seems like they land at the same spot no matter what. Unless, maybe, hmm, I don't know, but this this bridge up here seems pretty stable, honestly, I, I really like it. Uh, if anything, we might want to connect that and make it just a little bit more stable, just a little bit more. And how are we going to, either we make it where he doesn't hit this bounce a second time, or we make it where he hits the bounce... And I don't know, because whenever he hits the bounce the second time, he's facing the left like we thought he would. But by the time he slows down from all the momentum and stuff, he's like all the way over here. So we can't just put a road like right here and he immediately just goes to the left. So we need a way of like slowing him down or something. And of course, this is called aerial tennis. So I guess we need to do something. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we're able to bypass it the bypass the second spring i mean where because they do land lower here this this spring doesn't go quite as high but it goes further while this one goes further up and down this one goes further left and right so might want to maybe make a second i'm like we do have four supports up there which is pretty good honestly and of course this one seems pretty strong right off the bat um yeah we might as well make this into it yeah let's just make them all into these cool looking triangle things like this you know <laughs> There you go. And then this one can be one as well, but maybe just like a huge one, you know, like about as big as it can, it can get. <laughs> about like, uh, I don't know, maybe the bigger it is, the less effective it is at uh, absorbing like springs and stuff. I don't know. But there we go. It's hanging down. Yeah, they're going to land. At least it shows me the trajectory, so I'm able to see where they're going to be. But uh, I could put another spring like that. Basically adding anchor points. So there we go. We have two anchor points right there. And from that, we could basically build, I assume, just a regular old bridge or something. And then what are we going to do from that? We don't want them to run into each other over here, you know? So let's try and make like a road. See if we can make a road here. So there we go. Get a road. Maybe, yeah, make it slowly ramp upwards or something. So there we go. Add these. And about right here-ish, we definitely want to make sure it doesn't run into it. But uh, then right here, that's not going to be a road. That's just going to be that. This is going to be a road, though. Hopefully we're able to connect this all the way over there, you know? There we go. Slowly get some tri classic triangle bridge action. Trying to connect everything up. Uh, maybe get some tethers or something. I'm like, I can't really. Nah, uh, let's test that out. How's that going to go? Ooh, the whole thing is heckin' hanging, though. Ooh. Okay, how about we have this bottom one? Not connect with that, but connect to the initial one up there. Let's see if we can do that. That might be a bit better. There we go. That's connected now. There we go. Try and connect everything together. Maybe add some tethers here for extra support and stuff, too. So how's that going to go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it's hanging. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's swinging left to right. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. Mmm, I might have something here using this as a, <laughs> somewhat of a support, but I don't know. Let's, let's do a test drive here, see if this is going to work. Is he going to hit any of those roads? Oh, he does. Okay, okay, we need to pull that back a little bit. <laughs> About like there. Hopefully he doesn't hit that. Well, it does move to the right a little bit more, though. Okay, doesn't hit it. That's good. Everything seems pretty strong. Is he going to hit the second one? Is it going to work? Seems like it. Okay, he doesn't hit it until all the way over the- Ooh, we could probably get rid of these right here, honestly. Like, he- mm, Maybe stretch us out a little bit more. Boom, boom. And then, boom, boom. Maybe about to there-ish. Especially because it couldn't be swinging a little bit left and right, you know? And then maybe angle that a little bit more. About like so-ish. Uh, maybe pull that upwards. About like that. See how that's gonna go. Ooh, yeah, it's swinging- it's swinging a little bit, uh. I don't really like how much it's swinging. Hopefully he doesn't hit it with his head. They don't hit it. Okay, they don't hit it. Man, that is so red hot right there. That is dangerously red. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be using those triangle things for... Oh, I ran into it. Man. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, we've got a lot of road. We could stretch this road out a little bit. Yeah, about like, uh, about like almost out to here-ish. About like that-ish. Almost like that. But then maybe make this road go down a little bit more. Make it easier for him to land on, you know? So, ooh, ooh, that's really slanting down. Okay, you done hit it. That is good. But of course, whenever someone's on top of it, when we have a convoy going through, it might not be... It might still run into... Ooh, yeah, it moves. And there you go. He made it through. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> what out? Oh my god, the convoy's 10, too. Oh, jeez, this isn't gonna work. I know it's not gonna work. It's not gonna hold up. I know, I know it's not. Hmm, how do they want to run into each other here in the middle, though? That is the big question. Seems like not the case just yet. 
Oh man, we might be lucky here, you guys. We might be really lucky where they're not gonna run into each other. The convoy, the last car's going through. Nothing's broken so far. That is good. <gasps> oh, ooh, it's slipping, it's slipping. It's slipping there on the left. Oh my god! Oh my god! How did that do it? How did that make it? What? <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised that that disgusting design was able to do it. Like, what? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Let's go to level 40, the final level of this chapter. Timing is everything. Yeah, this is the one I said we might have trouble with just by the name of it, too. <laughs> so we're going to be running over buttons. Cubes are going to be hitting buttons. Cubes are going to be hitting uh, propulsion or repulsion gel. Danger of falling to sewage, of course. Cubes are going to be dispensed. We have the paddles and... Oh, yeah, we're going to get a cake at the end because it's the end of the chapter. Okay, let's see. Click to start. No word from GLaDOS. You think we would at least on the end of the level, you know? Or the end of the chapter. So where's the beginning and the end? Okay, the beginning is over here. We're going to be hitting the button immediately, which activates the cube to come out, which is a command cube, and it's going to be hitting the button, which is going to activate the paddle, and it's going to- Ooh, hold, whoa, hold on. The cube is going to fall down, open up this paddle, but then it's going to close that paddle. Ooh, yeah, time- this is called timing is everything, yeah. We want to be here in the middle whenever this paddle opens and that paddle closes, you know? So, yeah, timing is everything. And I guess if we have one card go through, no problem, then the rest of the convoy should be able to go through, no problem, as well. So, how is this gonna- I think- I think I see- whoa, what is this bit up here? here for then what is this all just to like slow me down make sure i don't go through there quite as fast or i don't know <laughs> So we're going to be hitting that portal. Oh, wow. There's no supports down here like at all. Everything's going to be hanging, I guess, from... Oh, my God. Whoa, yeah. I guess we're going to be making fake anchors by, I guess, doing stuff like... Oh, whoops. What in the world? I guess by doing stuff like this, like that, and then that, and maybe using these as supports and make sure it doesn't... I don't know. I feel like that's something we're going to be doing. And then up here, I don't even know what's going on up there. <laughs> Um, what in the world? So we're going to be coming out of here, going through that, coming out of that, going over here. Um, I genuinely do not know what we're doing here other than, wait, yeah, why did it say the cube is going to, wait, what? Why did it say the cube is going to hit uh, propulsion or repulsion gel? Or I think, oh, I think I know what we're doing here. The cube, we want the cube to hit that and then hit that spring, come over here, go through that. I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly. I, I, what? This level is kind of confusing right now, but uh, let, let, let's try and get this done, though. Let's try and build this to support this. Oh, whoops, it's not even connected. To support this. So, I don't know, probably like that-ish. That seems like that's what we need to do-ish. Say an ish a lot here. <laughs> but the uh, support's up there, and not necessarily the bad thing. Uh, we could connect those two together, too, yeah. And then, ah, uh, we can't do that right there. There we go. Well, there we go. We essentially have two anchor points there now, you guys. So, I guess we could add a few more, but I guess we could, I don't know if we could do a sideways diamond thing. Yeah, I guess we could. I don't know. That seems like it might be stable. It's not even centered. I guess there we go. Now we have three anchor points, I guess. Let's see how that goes, but uh, we're going to want to make a bridge down here. So, let's get this tether just so we can start building the actual roads. And there we go. Get the actual roads coming out. Just very simple roads, I guess. That are just going to be hanging there, I guess, too. Uh, oh, whoops. And make that slightly come up. Yeah, probably want to have the bottom one connected to the top one. Okay, I think we might have something here, you guys. It's kind of hanging down hardcore, but uh, of course we have, like, literally no anchor points there. <laughs> so, let's see. Can he even make it across that? Oh, that's instant. Ooh, I thought that uh, power thing took time. Hold on. Ooh, wait a second. Huh. How are we gonna, unless we redirect this to hang, uh, to slide all the way over there, maybe? Like slide and hit that thing, and then uh, I was under the impression that that was not instant, but it took a little while. Let's see. Can I make it where the cube slides basically instantly? Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's see. He's gonna hit the button. That's gonna slide down. Do some jumping and flying and... It just got destroyed. Of course, it needs to come back somehow, I assume? Um... I genuinely don't know what we're doing here, so... That hits that. I guess... I don't know how we're going to get it up into that portal. Unless we 
make it slide upwards or something. It uses momentum or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's make it like a regular old slide or something there. Let's try and make this as stable as possible. There you go. Let's, let, let's see if that knocks it into the portal, which if it does, we need to make it slide back and hit the button. Oh, it does. It, it slides in there. Okay, that's good. This is what I think we're going to need to do. Make this slide down and bypass that spring thing and slide down and hit that button. That's what we need to do. So probably do that. Make that into a road. And I guess we can connect that just so it doesn't move, hopefully. Okay, that is still... I might as well just do some classic triangles here. There we go. And nothing's moving. Okay. Oh, yeah, it needs to slide through that, though. Ooh. Okay, let's let's turn this into two pieces. And then maybe do that. Is that going to be able to make it now? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Uh, we can only find out by just testing it out, you know? So let's see. How's that? That cube... It hits it late. I want to fix the angle. It's going to go through the... There we go, and it... Oh! Oh! We got it! We got... 102,000. Oh, let's try it with the convoy. Is this... Is this able to... Okay, the convoy's only like, what, five or something? I think this bridge might be fine. Mm, two people made it through. Hold on. We got it done perfectly for two cars. Now they're stuck here. Um... I'm genuinely intrigued here. How are we going to do this? I'm like, we got done with one car perfectly fine. No problem. You guys saw it. We activate that. The cube to go flying. He just has to go through a couple portals and stuff. There we go. Falls through. And that's perfectly timed right there. Then if we do the convoy, like two cars make it through. We might be able to get three if we like fix the timing. You know, timing is everything. Might be able to get three. Actually, yeah. I wonder if we could slow down the cube a little bit more to where we, we could squeeze three uh, people in the convoy through, you know? Hmm. Let me test this out. Let me see if that slows the cube down any, because it needs to slowly... Ooh, slowed it down a little bit too much. Let me extend that out a little bit more. There you go. It gets dispensed. And it's slow. Ooh, still doesn't make it, though. I need to fix the angle. See, I want it to slowly slide over there so it goes as slowly as possible. So there we go. It gets launched out. And, ooh, ooh, yeah. I think we did, I think that was the reverse of what we wanted. I, th I think we're getting less cars in like that, so, hmm, hold on. What if I angle this a little bit like this, then make these angles about like that? There you go, it goes flying. Might be able to slow it down a little bit right there. Oh, what in the world? Uh, okay. <laughs> Almost got it there. Ooh, I think I might be able to hold on. Yeah, there you go. It, it kind of bounces and hits that. Might as well use that to my advantage. Let's test it out now. It's going to come out of the portal at an angle, hit that, and hopefully bounce and hit that and slow it down a little bit more. Might be able to get another car through. And there you go. Oh, what in the world? Wait, why did it... Why did it go flying? Hold on. Hmm. Might be able to slow it down by making these angles a little bit more like that-ish. Let's test that out now. Slowly slides over, hits that. Slowly comes out. And two, three people. Three made it through that time, but mm, man, I slowed it down about as much as I can. Oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, I can slow it down a ton more. Yeah, what am I doing? I could literally force this to go sliding over there. It's going to be forced to go over there, slide off that, and then boom. Uh, that might help. That might get four through, but I don't know about five. Man, yeah, this level timing is everything, yeah. Let's try and make it tumble one extra time here. Okay, let's test that out. God, that is an absolute mess. <laughs> let's see if we can tumble that through. Oh, yeah, that slowed it down. Oh, yeah, that slowed it down a lot. It's going to tumble through hopefully a few times. Oh, whoops, never mind. Okay, we're getting three through. That definitely fell down right there. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Let's try that now. Sheesh. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to actually tumble through all that stuff. That definitely slows it down a lot. That's good. I like that. Let's see if it's going to come out of the portal. Oh, what in the world? Oh, it, it got blocked. It got blocked. I need to make sure that doesn't happen. I want it to actually slide out. There you go. Let's try it now. Sheesh. <laughs> okay, it's coming out now. Tumbling slowly. Three and four made... That's what I'm saying. Four made it through. Five did not. 
I don't think we have any problems over here with that, though. Oh, what in the world did I just do? Oh, turn that into a thing. Whoops. Hmm. Might be able to slow it down a little bit more by making these angles a little bit more acute, I guess you could call it. Making it come down like that. Turn that into a road. God, this is an absolute heckin' mess. <laughs> I hope it's actually gonna work. I think we might have some. Maybe. Let's see, I've got, I've got so many tumblings there. Let's see if it actually gonna work. Slowly tumbling through. Slowly slowing it down. And oh, 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 got it, five through, no problem, nice, $125,000 spent, god, <laughs> what an absolute mess, I really need to go look up how other people got this one, because I'm pretty sure it's way easier than this, <laughs> uh, let's just go on, let's watch it again, let's watch it again, let's actually keep our eye on the cube this time, so there's the cube, it's going to go flying, oh, ba boom, and it's going to tumble through this, Burp, 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 slowing it down as much as I can. And it hits the button finally. And everyone already made it through the first battle. And they're going to make it through the second. No problem. There you go. <laughs> All right, we got it. Let's do the next level, which I think we're going to get a celebration. Maybe an upgrade to our office or something. Let's see what this is about. Am I going to get another promotion? I hope I am. Oh, I get my own turret. Or is that thing going to kill me? Oh. Oh. Well, I guess I can't go to work anymore. <laughs> Congratulations, you have officially been pre-admitted to the Aperture Science Vehicular Hurdling Initiative. Uh, I guess I can't do my job anymore when there's a heckin' turret wanting to kill me. Complete all ten of the following optional tabers to meet the admission requirements. Oh, jeez. So now we have level 41 bounce buddies. Ooh, this sounds very fun. We're going to be bouncing, it looks like. Repulsion gel. Cube hits the button. Cues are going to be bouncing as well. Paddle, danger of falling in the sewage, but of course we're going to be doing that next time, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys, hey, there's my point. <laughs> Look at me coming around the corner. Oh, there's a camera. Try to sneak past that heckin' turret. Make sure I don't die. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm just trying to go to my job. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Why, why did that guy not get shot at? Whatever. <laughs> be sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now to put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. That guy didn't get shot either. <laughs> so you guys do not miss an episode, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bridge Constructor Portal. Hey, look at me waving at my turret, where it looks like we're doing, ooh, Event Horizon is the name of the next chapter, where of course, like you guys saw earlier, we're going to be doing Bounce Buddies, and we're going to be doing that next time, so thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, bye there.